Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I thought I'd film a get ready with me story time video. So let's get cracking. Hiya, so that this is explains why I'm looking like this. My hair's not done or all. I haven't even sprayed on that stuff, so you can start to see some of my white coming through at the front. But anyway. I haven't filmed one of these since right at the beginning of my channel and I think I privated it because it was so bad, <laughs> that video. They're not much better now, let's be honest about it, but um, that one were particularly bad. So um, I thought I'd do one of these. You know, I, I do watch them on other people's channels um, and I've got to get ready. I've got things I've got to do today. It's not a work day today, so great. But I thought I'd, I'd, show, I'd do all this with you. And I thought I'd start to film some of these sort of semi-regularly to tell you some of the <laughs> crazy stories that have happened in my life. Oh, my days. I've always said to people, I feel like I'm living a final destination life, right? Because I've had quite a few near misses during the time. Um, but uh, so anyway, I thought I'd tell you one of the stories that's happened to me. I'm sure people think I make these up, but genuinely, this is a true story. So. I'll put me uh, start doing my face first right and I'm going to tell you what products I'm using as well so first up I'm using this I haven't bought this myself well I have but it came in a box and the box was £35 this costs £104 it's by Able Skincare £104 I nearly fell off my chair when I realised how much it was worth but anyway so I'm going to moisturise my face with some of that I'm also going to put some primer on which I wouldn't normally do I'm double bagging today Right, so anyway, put a bit of this on. I always put a moisturiser on with my hands. I've got clean hands. I washed them just before I came on, you know, and I always do before I put my makeup on. So anyway, better tell you this story. So when I was young, I had this pal. She's still a pal of mine, right? I've still got her on Facebook, although we we rarely see each other now. I, t I tend to see her when I'm out and about shopping and things like that, but um, we don't tend to go out. You know what it's like as you get older? Your pals aren't like they were when they were younger. You've all had families, you know, you sort of, you know, some pals you don't see so much. So anyway, right, so next I'm going to use this BB cream by Avon. Now, this has been my foundation today. One, because I haven't got any other foundations that um, that match my tanned face at the moment. <laughs> and two, because I like it because it's light coverage. Right, anyway, put it on the back of my hand and then I'll use my um, water egg, as Brandon Farris calls them. Right, I don't know where I got this water egg from, but it's wet. Right, so I had this pal, uh, have this pal. And we used to go um, seeing each other sort of regularly. You know, like you do. I must have been about 17, maybe even a bit younger. But we'd gone to school together um, throughout our school. Well, we went to middle school and high school together. And um, I've got a big blob under my eye now. Um, and we just used to hang around together at each other's houses. We were skin. I, I, we were both, well, I was certainly working a part-time job. I think she was as well. Um, while we carried on with our education and stuff. But we didn't have a lot of expendable income. So we just used to meet each other, go wandering around, chatting, you know. Um, you can always find something to chat about with your mates, can't you? So we used to do that anyway. And most of the time, it were either at her house or my house. We didn't live that far away from each other. Um, but where, the sort of halfway between our houses, were a graveyard. Um so we, that used to be sort of the midpoint for walking home. So at the end of an evening, we'd walk to the graveyard and then the, I'd walk to one end of the graveyard wall. So we'd both, you know, we were there together as we went past the graveyard. So she'd be standing at one end of the graveyard wall and the graveyard wall was sort of higher up from the path that we used to walk on and over the top. My mother lives really near to this graveyard now, actually, but anyway... Um, so the sort of the pr procedure that we used to go through for safety was that we'd go to either end of the graveyard wall, wave to each other and then we'd go with separate ways so that neither of us had to walk past the graveyard on our own. You know, we weren't stupid. <laughs> well, I say that. Right. So, um, yes. Yeah, so that's how the sort of the process used to go through. And we'd done this hundreds of times. I mean, literally hundreds of times, you know, over the years. So this one particular day, 
we'd, we'd been hanging out together and what have you. Do you know, I've forgotten to get an eyebrow pencil. Anyway, I'll have to go get that at some point. Um, so we'd been hanging out together and uh, we were on our way home and we'd been at my house. So we walked to the graveyard and we walked all the way past the graveyard wall. So she's at one side and I, and she said, I'll stand here and wait till you get to the other end of the graveyard wall. I said, oh no, don't be daft. We've done it so many times. Her name was Tracy. We've done it so many times, Tracy. It'll be fine. You don't need to wait for me. So honestly, how many times I've lived to regret saying that to her. Oh my days. So anyway, she said, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, fine, no bother, right? So off we go. She she disappears off down towards where she lived and I have to walk past the graveyard wall. Okay, what's my next bit here? All right, hang on a minute. Okay, so all my brushes that I'm using are from Savers. I love these brushes. I think that one's about three or four pounds and these ones are identical, they're all two pounds. Um, and I'm going to use this May thing that I got in my uh, rocker box this month. So I thought I'd use the blush a bit from this. So anyway, I start walking back past the graveyard wall. And I heard running at the other side. And it's eye up as well, right? I was absolutely quaking. Honestly, my legs were going. I was petrified. So I'm, I'm walking, trying to act dead cash as I'm like going past and it's dark just to set the scene it's dark and over the road from the, so I'm standing this side of the graveyard wall the graveyard's up and over there the other side there's like a field thing with flats sort of in the distance around it but no near houses right so I hear this running and my legs started to go from underneath me I were quaking absolutely quaking the running stopped and I heard a noise. Um, okay, let's, it's all right. It'll have to do. Right now, the, uh, okay, so the highlight that I'm using is one I bought myself by Re Revolution. Okay, and I'm gonna have to use the same brush because I've forgotten to get one. So never mind, it'll have to do. It'll blend, won't it? Let's have it blending. All right, I've also lent on my flipping uh, blusher and it's all down my T-shirt. So T-shirt will be changed after this. Anyway, so I hear this noise and I turn to look up this wall, which is like six foot. And then the, you know, and the uh, graveyard was sort of level with this six foot. And there's this figure standing behind a tree. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but he wasn't just standing behind a tree. He had his hands on the side of the tree like that. And he was looking down at me like that my heart stopped <laughs> i have never been so petrified in all my life and for a second a split second i froze looking at him he was dressed all in black completely in black just standing like that leaning over the wall with his from behind this tree down at me oh my days so for a second i stopped froze and then I took off running and in my head, bat out of hell were playing, right? As <laughs> I was going, oh, oh my God, oh my God, uh, this person, I didn't know if he jumped down, if he were chasing me, what it was, because he looked so sinister. I was petrified, absolutely petrified. So I started running and there were houses further up the road and I thought, I'm just gonna get to one of those houses and I'm gonna bang on the door. I, I was just too terrified and it was too far to go to get home. I thought, in the dark, right, I'm just going to get to one of these doors and bang on it. Anyway, I was nearly at these houses and all of a sudden round the corner comes this bus. It was like a vision, right, <laughs> this bus. Going the opposite direction from my house, but it were all lit up and everything, right. People, it pulled in and people were getting off. I thought I could make it home, I can make it home. So I ran and ran and ran. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna, on my eyes, I'm gonna use this, which I got in a box as well. It is without a doubt one of my favorite palettes. It's a Rose Metals palette by Velvet 59. Right, I'm having to squint because I haven't got my glasses on. And that would explain the fact that my face probably looks as high as a sore eyes, but it's a, it's a drawback of having to put your makeup on when you're blind, right? 
Oh uh, dear, because you can't put eye makeup on with your glasses on. Anyway, I'm going to use one of colours fell apart look, which is the colour that I love the most, which is that colour. But anyway, I'm going to use that colour and that colour. And I'm doing a two colour, that's it. They're both sort of slightly shimmery. So I'm just going to use those. I only want light makeup today. So anyway, I pegged it and pegged it. And all the time, I'm imagining this person, this figure is chasing me. You know, all the flipping time, I'm imagining that I'm being chased. Anyway, I made it to the front door. I mean, mum kept the key on the inside of the door. So I ran through the door, it wasn't locked, ran through the door. And I'm feverishly trying to lock the door behind me. Lock the door behind me, I collapsed in an heap on the floor and just burst into tears. My mum came running out like, what on earth has happened? So I had to tell her tale. Anyway, because I was so shaken up and everything, she phoned police. So just made a quick report about what had happened and what have you. And they said, um, you know, that, that the, I, I don't know what the outcome of that first phone call were anyway. So anyway, right, skip forward a fortnight. <laughs> so I'm using darker colour just here now and slightly on the outside. It is a very quick look. Um, skip forward a fortnight, me and my sister, Get sent down to Chippy <laughs> to buy chips for tea. Well, it was late on, right? I think we'd missed tea or something. My mum said, oh, go to Chippy and get some chips. So the chip shop were past the graveyard. So I'm not going on my own. My sister's not going on her own. We're not stupid, right? So we um, decided we'd go together. So I'm just putting a bit of that darker colour sort of under my eyes. So, I mean, like I said, and then I'm just going to use a cleaner brush. To, or a clean brush just to sort of blend it out a little bit or in a little bit or whatever you call it so yeah so we go past go past the graveyard no problem and past the graveyard further down is a place is what used to be uh dr bernardo's and uh i'm trying to brush off all that <laughs> blusher but no i am gonna have to change the t-shirt all right, so we're Dr. Bernardo's, and it was like dark. And in the doorway, we saw this figure standing. Anyway, we didn't think too much of it. Went and got with chips, and we're walking back along. All of a sudden, footsteps other side at wall. You're going to think we're stupid for even going down there and going past the graveyard and, you know, when this had previously happened. But anyway, I went my sister, and we felt like we were 10 men, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> there were two of us. So anyway, we're walking up past the graveyard wall and I hear the running and I said to my sister, "It's it, this is it, this is what happened, right? And we turned and looked, guy again behind Chi, like that down at us. Oh my days, we both set off running now, right? There were no messing, no saying out or all, we both pegged it home, right? Same thing, get into house, collapse on floor. My mum went, oh, this is ridiculous. I'm phoning police again, right? So she phones police. Anyway, they came out and they spoke to us and um, and asked us what had happened and what have you. Um, right, I'm going to put some mascara on. I'll have to go do my eyebrows off camera because I've forgotten them from an eyebrow pencil. Anyway, right, so police came out and uh, sort of took a statement from me about the first incident and then from my sister about and, and me about the second incident. Anyway, a few weeks later, this the police got in touch and this poor policeman had had to hang out in graveyard, right, for two weeks on an evening. Two weeks, right, to try and find whoever this person was, but nobody showed up. So obviously it were a person you know i don't think it were all supernatural but um it were absolutely flipping terrifying honestly i've never been so scared in my life even with my sister when we seen him leaning from behind this thing because it what way did it you know he put both hands on one side of a tree and sort of leant down and it were absolutely petrifying i think he just wanted to scare sort of young women i mean it might have been that it was scaring any age woman you know what i mean might have been that it would try to scare guys but i can't imagine it was but anyway that that was my story of the you know the graveyard but i'll tell you what it was unbelievably terrifying especially as a young person you know i'm saying i was 17 i might have been 15 or 16 i can't remember honestly 
but it were really, really scary. So yeah, story of the grave, yeah, blinky neck. So this mascara, I better tell you about this mascara. I got this in a um, Look Incredible box and it's by, is it Ghislaine or whatever they call them? Anyway, I really like it. It's one of ones that's like, I've never paid money for, but I'm glad I've got it, you know, in one of the boxes. So yeah, I really like it. It's sort of, you know, you feel like you've got quite a bit of makeup on, quite a bit of mascara on with it. And this, I also got in a box ages ago. This is uh, YSL and this is also like a compact foundation. It's brilliant for like touching up your makeup through a day. But it's too light for me at the moment because my face is too tanned. So anyway, yeah. So that's a story about the graveyard. If you guys have got any stories, I'd be really interested to hear them. You know, if you live around here and you ever had the same experience as well, that might be interesting, you know. Find out if anybody else is blinking, being scared by the same fella. And if you were that man and you just happened to be watching, shame on you, shame on you because you terrified me. And I'm still telling the story all these years later. What, 35 years later? Blooming heck. Maybe 38 years later. Holy moly. Yeah, it was petrifying. So I'm going to go do my eyebrows off here and then I'm going to come back and chat. Okay, so there are some eyebrows on. They might not be the best eyebrows I've ever put on. In fact, but they might be up there with the worst eyebrows I've ever put on. But I was in such a rush to get back anyway. So next up, I'm going to use this that I got in a cohorted box off Woucher. It's by, I think it's called Duce or something. Anyway, it's this pinky colour. I've never tried it before, so thought I'd give that a go. So using my mirror out of here. So yeah, um, so um, I thought I'd tell you one quick other story, right, about my final destination life, right? So this other time when I, around about the same time, I think I was about 18, uh, I was going, wow, that is very pink. I'm not sure that's my colour. Um, anyway, I were, um, in this little town where I live, we used to have two nightclubs, believe it or not. It is just a little town. Um, wow, that is very, very pink. I'm going to, oh, goodness me. Wow, that is not my colour at all. But anyway, I'll leave it on for now. So we used to have two nightclubs and this one night I was going out uh, and I was meeting my pals at one of the nightclubs and um, we just used to meet in there because it honestly, you used to get the bus into town or, you know, get a taxi in or you could even walk it, I suppose, but if it were really dark and that. And then we'd meet up in this little nightclub, we'd just have a few drinks, have a dance and stuff and go home. Um, so this one night I was meeting my pals inside this club and um, and I got off the bus in the town. I think it was about 10, 10 o'clock, something like that. And I'm walking up just a little road towards the nightclub. It were, you know, the shops are either side and everything, but obviously it's dark. And this guy, obviously drunk, other side of the road, um, is walking down. I'm thinking, don't look at him, Kim. Don't look at him. <laughs> don't look at him. All of a sudden, I heard him shout, oh, you, like that, right? So I turned and looked at him. He came charging over at road, and he got me around throat, and he literally lifted me up off the ground. Now, I was a lot slighter than I am now. I used to be quite skinny when I was younger. And um, he literally picked me up off the ground, and I thought, I was trying to get my feet on the ground, trying to get my toes to hit the ground, because he was choking me. I had his hands, both hands, choking me around my throat. Didn't seem to be anybody about. I'm desperately, and all this is happening in seconds, as he's lifting me off the ground, drunk out of his mind he was. I could smell the alcohol on his breath and everything. And he lifts me up off the ground. And then, like the bus came in a vision from the um, on the other story, right? Round the corner on the like one-way system, police car, right? Police car comes immediately screeches into the road where I am, came, grabbed him and slung him in the back of the police car. And the, one of the cops got out and he were asking me, do you know him, do you know him? I said, I've no idea who he is. He just came from the other side of the road. So he checked to make sure I were all right. And, and I said, I were fine. I just wanted to go, you know. And he said, um, yeah, no problem. I said, do you need me to do anything? He said, no, he's, um, we've been looking for him kind of thing. So 
they drove off with him in the back of the police car but honestly it was terrifying he literally picked me up at that point i think i realized just how vulnerable you can be you know because up to that point i didn't think that a man could have lifted me up and like i say I'm, I were only slight, you know, I were, I want an heavy lass, I were very slim when I were younger, um, but still, I'm five foot eight, and he had me up off the ground by my own throat, so, yeah, when I say I've lived a final destination life, it's, it's episodes like that, there are many more episodes like that, but anyway, so that's my final face of makeup, although I have to tell you, I'll be redoing my eyebrows and my lipstick once I get off camera because I look a bleeding sight. Anyway, bloody neck. So if you've got any stories or you've enjoyed this video, you want me to do any more because there are many, many stories, you know, I've hidden bushes from people, you know, with um, all sorts of stuff. It's, oh my goodness, it's been a pretty... My sister once said to me, you career from one disaster to the next. And I said, do you think I don't know? <laughs> do you not think I know that? Oh dear. But anyway, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box in case you want to contact me for any reason. And please leave comments if you'd like more of these videos or if you don't like them, um, if you, you know, you prefer the other sort of content or if you've got any ideas for some new content that you'd like me to do. I keep threatening to do that baking video, but I've got a stu stuff piled up in my kitchen, um, stuff to go to my daughter's things that I'm trying to get rid of, but we share two bins here in these flats, so there's never room in the blinking bins. So anyway, so as soon as I've cleared all that, I will get round to doing those baking videos. Incompetent baking is what I'm calling it. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!